today's video, we are going for a full-on traditional Czech market experience. We're going to be trying some interesting new food and you're going to be getting fully immersed in the Czech culture. Hey guys, welcome to the channel Nash and Teresa. Right now it's Easter time and that means for the first time the Easter markets are open and you can see they are super busy and this is the first time after a long time because of the pandemic. So I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoy this Easter tour with us. Man, I'm already loving the energy here. So the first thing is I came in, which I saw, is that they have a working station where they're making like metallic bells and swords and like all this medieval stuff. And the more you walk, you're gonna find a lot of stuff which they're selling is either fried, like chips or languish. I love the energy. I love just seeing Prague coming back to life like this. So I went right in the food stands and today's mission was to try something new which you have not heard on the channel before. And I want to showcase what you can find in a typical Czech market. So first I went for the potato chip skewer. So I just ordered like a big chip, it's like quite huge. And this was 70 crown and this is basically one potato which is deep fat fried and they have like a machine which they use to like pull it out so that it's sort of like spiral here yeah, as you can see. Mm. Wow. Mm. This is nice. It's um it's not like your usual chips where they're like crunchy and hard, but this is more on the tender side right in the middle. And you have the crunchiness on the outside where the skin is. And you can add like normally something like salt and chili. Otherwise, this is this is good. 70 crown is a bit stretching it for one potato, but still it's good flavor. The decorations during the different market seasons are a very nice touch which really does a good job in bringing out that holiday atmosphere. The other thing which you're gonna notice is they have a stand right in the middle. So this is the same one they actually use for the Christmas markets normally. So you're able to climb up and look around at what's going on in the market. I do like this stand and this feature in the markets generally, but it's a bit difficult when you have a stroller, you hardly can go up or you have to leave the kids behind. So I'm not gonna do that. But I really do like the touch of the stand. And what you're gonna also notice is a lot of Easter themed stuff. So they have um, eggs which are painted. So this is part of the typical Czech tradition where they take some eggs, they paint them, sometimes it works. We tried to do that before and it came out as a fail. But when you see it nicely done, that means that took real talent. You will find they make quite a lot of handmade goods and souvenirs each season which are sold alongside the seasonal decorations. And the other thing which you're gonna see is a Czech Easter tradition. Normally it's supposed to be up to 12 o'clock but you may spot it is that you're gonna see people with whips sort of like woven stick and they use that to whip the girls and this is to actually increase their fertility and in return the girls are supposed to give the guys the eggs which are normally painted. <laughs> So we just ordered the dumpling. So this one is the kinder and it's got like chocolate filling on the outside. And just by touching it, it's like super fluffy. And I'm curious what it's gonna look like inside. So as soon as you cut it open, you can just see the juices of the kinder just spilling out. So I'm gonna have this first bite here. 
Mm. Mm. Wow. It tastes like you're almost eating a melted chocolate kinder. It tastes like bread dumpling with flour. And then you have the sweetness which comes out and the nuttiness. And it's really gooey. So this is uh, good. And the price is 69 crown for one. And it's quite big. So it's a good little snack to have and to try. The other thing which you're gonna find a lot of is hot beverages and these are really great when the weather is quite cold. And then you're also gonna find some beer for sale and also fizzy drinks and prices typically range from 60 to 70 crown for drinks. So I just went for a hot drink. So here you can actually buy like some mild wine or hot wine or hot apple juice. So in this case, I went for hot forest fruits drink. So this is basically some berries which are brought together and then warmed up and made into juice. Oh, that's lovely. It's not alcohol, because I want to share it with the kids, but it's really nice. It's um, not too bitter, not too um, like citrusy, but you do have like lots of like strawberry and then uh, like raspberries. But it's a good flavor. It's really nice and warm, especially since we are in Easter, sometimes it can be a bit cold. <laughs> So as the street food adventure continued, there was a smell in the atmosphere which I just couldn't resist as a meat lover and that is the smell of meat which is being grilled on the barbies all around. And this is something you just cannot avoid on every corner you turn. So I went for a chicken skewer. So you have chicken which has been grilled on briquettes and you also have like some yellow peppers and some bacon. So the price of this one was 150 crown. Mm. It's okay. Not too exciting. The chicken is more on the dry side. It's not that juicy. Maybe because they have to really cook it to make sure it's safe. But it's not as juicy. And the bread, the bread is fresh. But there's no sauce. Maybe I can add like tomato sauce or something or mustard. But otherwise, it's not that great. It's just a bit dry. More on the dry side, but not outstanding. So guys, that was such an experience. So I hope you enjoyed this video exploring the Czech Easter markets in Prago town. So there's Easter markets also in Vaslav Square and also Prague Castle. So you can enjoy those. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave us a like, comment and subscribe and check out our next video where we're showing you the top things to do in Prague.